When you're this little, meeting Mickey and Minnie Mouse is a big treat. An even bigger treat for Great Ormond Street Hospital today was the news that their fundraising campaign was receiving a Disney-sized boost. This is a gift of one million pounds. One million up front, together with a pledge to help raise ten million more. Part of the Disney tradition, I was told, of helping hospitals around the world. We've also had a relationship with this hospital dating back to the 30s when Walt had a vision to bring Peter Pan to the world. And so it's fitting that we step up and support a hospital that in this case is in need because it's raising money to expand and to improve its facilities. They have made a hugely generous contribution to us today, so we're really excited. Uh, that will go a long way to closing the gap on £170 million that we need to raise for this next phase of the redevelopment. To get an idea of just how important all this money is, we've come to the transitional care unit, the Miffy Ward, in the Southwood building. Now, the Southwood building was built back in the 1930s, and despite all the extraordinary work the place has done over the years, it just wasn't designed with 21st century medicine in mind. Now, bear that in mind when I tell you that for some children, the Miffy Ward is their home for months and sometimes years. Baby Andrea's serious breathing condition has meant that in her nine-month life she spent just one afternoon out of hospital. Her mother, Michaela, says staff do fantastic work here, but it's work that needs more space. Bigger rooms for the children and, you know, bigger enough to be able to have a bed with, for their parents as well if they want to spend the night with them. And essentially uh, more, more day, more light, you know, natural light than this uh, light bulbs. And... Uh, Generally, more space for the children to be able to, to play and enjoy themselves. Some of the children here were clearly having a ball today, and the aim of the fundraising campaign is to improve the lives of tomorrow's children too.